Hello there. Uh, today I've got something a little bit special to prattle on about. Um, I've had quite uh, an accumulative start to the year for fountain pens, so I have sworn myself off a little bit um, for now. Try and control my accumulation, spending, etc., etc. So. I've decided to take full advantage of PenSharing.com for the next, well, probably a few months in order for my new pen fixes, etc, etc. Um, I've obviously talked about pen sharing before, uh, but basically set up by the lovely John uh, in order for people to share their pens. You can hire other people's pens. Um, for a small weekly fee and then you can get your hands on luscious things um, albeit temporarily uh, so if you're thinking about buying one yourself and you want to see whether it's really worth the money or just like in this case uh, you just want a treat for a week or two and write with something very very nice which you otherwise might not be able to afford um, and yeah, you can have a nice little luxurious new pen day fix without actually having to lay out hundreds of pounds. Anyway, um, so I hired this from Edwin. Very kindly puts up some lovely things. This is the Leonardo Vesuvio. And it is absolutely stunning if you look at that finish. So I believe it is ebonite, um, and then it's got uh, gold leaf laid upon it, and then lacquered over the top, which as you can see, hopefully, is absolutely beautiful. Stunning finish. Um, as you can see from here, there's only 20 of these made. This is number 20. And you've got a red ebonite feed, and a 14 carat Leonardo Lafenice, nib number six nib in a medium in this case very very nice yeah you've got that um finish on the section there as well uh so you've got flat tops nice bit of gold on that rear finial but yeah that you, you could just sit there and twirl this finish for a length of time. Look at that, absolutely gorgeous. Um, piston filler, there is the piston turning knob. No ink window on this one. Um, just for a, a wee bit of a size comparison, if you're familiar with the size of a Leonardo Memento Zero Grande, it's about the same size, just with um, flat ends rather than like the conical finials there. Um, but yeah, pretty much the same size. Not sure, it looks bigger because I've got my camera angle tilted, but I will bring it down and do a, a bit of a better comparison, but just for a quick look. Um, yes, piston filler. Uh, it probably does post to a degree, but Edwin asked uh, that it not be posted for fear of damaging the finish. So obviously I'm going to respect those wishes and I wouldn't post anyway. It is a, it is a very decent size in the hand, like Memento Zero Grand size. So I wouldn't feel that need anyway. Okay, so let's look at um, a couple of size comparisons on the flat so that you can get a better idea of the size and then we'll do some writing. So, here are a few pens for size comparison. As you can see, now you're down flat. Um, the Memento Zero is pretty much the same size. Um, you're talking millimetres difference, if any, and that's probably down to the conical finials there. And you've got a Pelican M1000, so, which is a big pen in itself. So as you can see, quite a big boy. An Oto Magna Classic Diplomat Excellence A2. Visconti Homo Sapiens, Bronze Age in this case. I've got a Jinhao X159 just for kind of the Mont Blanc 149 size. And then you've got a Pilot Custom 743 there just for some size ideas. Shall we do a wee bit of writing? I'm sorry about my creaky chair, by the way. 
I'm not doing anything suspect, I promise. I'm just a bit fidgety. Um, right, yeah, sorry. Writing, good. Hold tight. So, let us see. Is it right as well as it looks? Let's zoom in a wee bit. Um, Claire Fontaine 90 GSM PPA. And this is Leonardo. Vesuvio. Wasn't that the name of the restaurant in The Sopranos? What was his name? Tony Soprano's mate. Can't remember now. So this is a 14 carat medium. And the ink is diamine. Poinsettia. That restaurant owner's name is bugging me now. This is first becoming a favourite red of mine. And this is actually the last of the sample I had. So I might have to pick up a bottle of this. I very much like it. Uh, yes, anyway, sorry. Is the focus messing around a little bit? I do apologise. Um, right. Excuse me, didn't mean to sniff on that, yeah. As you might expect, does write beautifully as well. Just do it fast very quickly. absolutely no probs um it's very smooth just a nice little bit of um feedback um uh i wouldn't say drag but like you know just that nice little bit of well drag <laughs> light drag feedback shall we call it um not like a danny larue kind of thing but you know what i mean um but it requires so like just no pressure and that is absolutely fine for flow um so yeah it really is the lightest touch i'm barely putting any pressure on this right now um if you were to add a wee bit of pressure bearing in mind it's not my pen i'm not going to push it far but you can squeeze out a little bit of variation it is on the soft side, this nib actually not flex, but on the soft side. But I'm not going to push it far because it's not mine, and I can't afford the repair bill. Do you know what I'm saying? Uh, but yeah, so for wetness, very nice flow indeed. And obviously, if you're squeezing a bit more out, you're going to put a bit more ink down. Um, I don't really do reverse anymore, do I? Is that it? Is that it? Is that everything? Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's absolutely a lovely writer, as you would expect. Certainly for the for that price. Uh, funnily enough, not this one, but I saw another one go up for sale the other day for looking about a grand um, in Great British pounds or euros or whatever equivalent. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a little bit snuffly today. I do apologise. Um, but yeah, absolute stunner. Um, I mean, 
There's not a lot here not to like. It's a big pen. So if big pens aren't your thing, it's not for you. If swirly stuff isn't for you, it's not for you. If paying a thousand pounds odd for a pen is not for you, it's not for you. However, if you have the opportunity, means, etc., to purchase one of these, well, I don't think you'd be disappointed. Um, and even if you wanted to hire one, if you have that means available to you too, you would not be disappointed. I really do like the um, the coloured ebonite feed. Uh, so that's not the ink, that's, you know, it's red ebonite. Yeah, know what I mean? Uh, I also like the flat ebonite feed profile that some brands do. Um, I enjoy that. Uh, I mean, obviously the finish piston filler is good there's no ink window but it that doesn't really bother me generally anyway it's handy but i can live without it um but i think the body compensates very much so for that um yeah absolute stunner thank you to edwin for allowing me to hire his pen and consenting to me videoing my random thoughts uh coming up don't usually do it coming up next, but I have bought, I hired two pens from Edwin. So coming up next will be the Omas Grand Paragon, which I also hired at the same time. Equally lovely, just very different. Um, really enjoying this at the minute. So that will most likely be next video. Take it easy. Enjoy pens. Enjoy life. Enjoy. I don't know. Whatever you enjoy. Nice to see you. Take it easy. Bye bye.